Bird cages have been around for a long time, almost before prehistory, and there is reference to keeping birds in cages as far back as ancient Mesopotamia, Egypt, Persia, Greece, Rome, China, India, Babylon, among many others. Birds were often uh, kept for religious or symbolic reasons, uh, but also for the sheer pleasure of hearing their song or admiring the beauty of their plumage or enjoying their comical antics. They were also a sign of wealth and aristocracy back as far as Roman times. Cages were made of wood or bamboo, uh, and when wire was invented, metal cages of all shapes and sizes were very prevalent. But as a potter, I'm here to talk specifically about ceramic bird cages. There is little evidence that ceramic cages existed before the middle of the 17th century, when the Dutch Delft pottery made the first recorded ceramic bird cages. And then over the next three centuries, ceramic bird cages have been made in many other countries. We'll start off with two different forms of Dutch Delft bird cages dated to the last part of the 17th century. They are made in earthenware and glazed in the Delft manner with a tin oxide glaze and decorated on glaze with cobalt blue. And these two are yet another shape but decorated differently and possibly early 18th century. As we look at several other bird cages, I will talk generally about them. It is not always possible to accurately date them or say exactly where they were made, but I will note these facts as we go along. Most of these images are of cages made in the 19th century and through to modern times. French, Italian and Portuguese potteries turned out cages in reasonable abundance, and a couple of things apply to all of them. That they are constructed by hand-building and joining the various parts together, or by forming the basic shape by throwing it on the pottery wheel and then cutting out sections to make the cage. Some are definitely reproduced by moulding the original and then casting others. They are exclusively made in earthenware. Nearly all are decorated in the Delft, Faience or Majolica method, meaning tin glazed and overpainted in cobalt blue or coloured enamels. And then you will also find some glazed in one colour. As you may perceive while seeing these examples, making a birdcage requires quite a bit of forethought and planning. Holes for the wires have to be drilled while the clay is still leather hard. Drinkage has to be taken into account. Ceramics is much more difficult to work with than wood, bamboo or metal. So it's quite remarkable to see the results of the potted creative skills and imagination when it comes to bird cages. And here we see a very good example of how a door for the bird cage has been made in pottery. These three cages are the exception to the rule because they are Chinese and almost certainly made of porcelain. And um, the one in the middle has a porcelain case uh, with a lovely ormolu brass top. I thought I would also include in this video three other things that are associated with bird cages uh, and birds. And the first are these lovely Delft tile panels uh, with uh, beautiful images of birds, birds in their cages. These are single tiles decorated slightly differently. And these are panels of six tiles. And I believe this is an Italian tile panel with this very interesting border. 
And this one is an 18th century Delft tile. And I made this one, and you'll notice the little old Australian bush shack in the reserve at the bottom. I would also like to include these images of beautiful Meissen figurines, which feature a birdcage. They were made in porcelain in the middle of the 18th century and are exquisitely modelled and decorated. I'd also like to include bird feeders, which evolved, particularly in China, which could be attached to the sides of the cage, as shown here on the left, and filled with seed for the feathered occupants. And I just happen to have three of them. Uh, uh, two of them are in blue and white, and uh, they have this bamboo stuck to the side of them, which fits into the side of the cage. And the other one has a very nicely enameled Chinese scene on it. And here is quite a collection of them in blue and white or colored glazes and enamels. And the other type of bird feeder are these hanging ones, uh, and these are Chinese porcelain, and these are earthenware made by yours truly. In 1971, I visited the Tebbs Porcelain Factory in Paris and I saw my first ceramic birdcage, which was similar to this one. I was entranced by it and immediately determined that I would make one when I returned home to my Mossman pottery studio. I took careful note of how it was constructed. This is the first cage that I made in that early Dutch Delft style. I took the cage home and set it up with a pair of lovely budgies in the front window of our unit in Maruban Road. One morning, about 9am, there was a knock on the door, and on answering it, a lady not asked me, where did you get that beautiful birdcage? I told her that I had recently made it. She said, would you make me one? So I did. And uh, I had all the moulds prepared after the first one, so I was easily able to reproduce them. Uh, I made four in total. A few years ago, I received an email which said, Hello, Les, do you remember me buying one of your blue and white bird cages in Mossman? Well, we have just moved to New Zealand, and I'm happy to say that we managed to transport the, the, the cage here without any problems. So that's where one of them is. This cage, which I called Carousel Bird Cage, was also made in Mossman. When I moved to Tyalgum in the Tweed Valley in 1981 and set up my new pottery gallery, I began to make another bird cage. This one was much larger and more elaborate than the blue and white ones, with an Australian touch, the gum nuts and the gum leaves. And here I am putting the finishing touches to that cage. One day, a fellow walked into the gallery and said to me, I really like this bird cage. He asked me the price and he said, I'll take it. I am a collector of bird memorabilia 
and could you please make me four more cages, each one different. I did, and here are some of the pictures of those cages that I made for him. These two cages were constructed similarly to the gumnut cage, but decorated in an entirely different way. Another blue and these two cages, one in a transparent green over a, a terracotta based design, and the other one in turquoise blue, uh, and both of them I made pedestals for them to stand on. I only made one other gumnut cage, and this blue and white one, and another green cage on a pedestal. And three more in varying styles. The one on the left is in terracotta. Another interesting story which I might finish up with is this one. Many years ago, I had to have some dental work done. And when it came to payment, my dentist said, no, I don't want any money. I would just very much like your blue and white birdcage. So the very first birdcage that I made, which I had kept all of those years, went to my dentist. <laughs> all my cages were made in earthenware and marked with my signature or my chialgum mark. If there are any aspiring potters watching this video, there are two How to Make a Ceramic Birdcage videos here on my channel, which very clearly set out the processes, materials required, and methods of constructing one of these fascinating works of ceramic art. Thank you for watching.